What's up guys? You got Q the Critic here with another edition of the Burger Crawl. Today I'm at the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum and I'm here for burgers and beer with LA Weekly. Alright guys, my first burger is the Simsies Burger. Um, I've never had them before but I talked to them and I'm gonna probably go to their restaurant. Let's get right into this and see how it is. Oh wow. That's really good. It has a lot of flavor. The onions are kind of sweet and it and very crunchy. Like they're not overcooked so they're not super mushy, but they're sweet and crunchy. The flavor of the burger patty comes through immediately. And this is my first burger at um, Burgers and Beer by LA Weekly. All right, next up guys, we've got the beef slider from Mrs. Fish. And on the display, they had like a really cool coral reef type of thing. So we're gonna try this out and see how good their beef is. Wow. That patty is super seasoned. The pickle adds a hint of sweetness. The cheese is very, it's like sharp cheddar, and it's delicious. I am like totally making my way through these sliders and little baby burgers very quickly. Um, next is the Korean barbecue slider from Seoul Sausage. This, this is the closest thing to a good Asian fusion burger that I've had. I don't know if you guys remember, I um, I just, in my last video, in my last um, video at Slater's 5050, I mentioned how I said that, that um, they had trouble making an Asian fusion burger. Soul Sausage has done it, and I am definitely going to go there and try a full-size version of this, because... It has all those flavors of kimchi and sweetness and a little hint of spice. And the patty does taste similar to a sausage. So I don't know if the meat, the meat is mixed or not, but we'll find out. All right guys, up next we have Rush Treats Burger, which is dry aged beef, applewood bacon, onion strings, cheddar cheese, arugula, and a con fire sauce. That's good. I like the um, I like the crunch of the bacon. It's very crispy. The beef, you definitely taste that that it's dry aged. And again, on this burger, the cheddar cheese is very sharp. So, let me see if I can get a taste of the onion strings. The confire sauce is sweet and tangy. And it adds like a little bit of depth to the burger. I don't really get that much taste of the onion strings, but it's a good burger nonetheless. All right, guys, up next is the Karma Burger from Hache LA. LA Hache LA. Um, this is the Karma Burger. I've had this before because I, I actually know the owner, Mick, and he has mixed Karma Bar and Irvine. And they're grinding the burgers right now. Like they they're grinding these patties on the spot at a food festival. So you can't get fresher a fresher burger than this at a food festival. Let's get right into it. Wow. That's intense. I love the karma sauce, which is also made in house. Tache is doing everything fresh. 
All right, guys. This is my, I think my seventh burger in. I don't know. I took a break because at um, at the place before Hache LA, I bit into like a piece of bacon and like totally screwed up my tooth. So like one of my teeth is like messed up in the back. It's broken or something. So like I had to sit down for a little bit. But this is from Salt Cure. It's their grass fed um, slider. And I'm gonna get right into it. Wow. That's just pure beefly goodness. Wow. It tastes like it's very lean. There's not a lot of fat content. So the flavor of the beef comes through a lot. And this is delicious. Alright guys, next I have Planchex Burger, which has a quail egg. There's um two types of cheese, two types of bacon. There's a square type of like fruit roll-up type of thing that's ketchup. So we're gonna get right into this. Well, I gotta try to navigate picking it up. Oh, and they give you like a pack of peanuts. I don't know what the name of this burger is, but it's from Plant Shack, so. Wow. That packs a lot of flavor. I got egg yolk dripping out the bottom of it. The patty is delicious. This is definitely one of my favorite burgers here so far. I'm glad to see Hawkins House of Burgers uh, representing at the burger festival. They're a little like hole in the wall spot in South LA and they do some very intense burgers. Like I love their, their patty, I love their meat, I love uh, there's a burger there called like the Whipple I believe it is and that thing is amazing it has sausage and all types of stuff on it but this is just a regular burger on the menu it has lettuce tomatoes pickles and mayo well seasoned all the flavors of the vegetables come together and make this truly an experience all right guys I'm like 10 burgers into this crawl so far I have barrel and ashes they have an open face burger that's like leaning on its side right now let me turn it upright but uh, get a glimpse of that there we go that's better um, it's hard shooting vlogs I don't know how to do this so Whatever, but let's try this right now. Mm. That is good. Wow. I took the whole thing in, so I don't know if I got a good taste of the bacon. Oh, there it is. Yeah, that, that's good. So that's Barrel and Ashes. Um, and they had an open face burger and it was delicious. Let's try the chicharron. Crunchy chicharron. You can't never go wrong with that. So I've been here for like an hour or so. And this is my first bill. It's the Amber Ale from, um, crap, I don't remember the name of the place. Let's go look. It's the Amber Ale from Lady Face Company. And we're going to try it right now. Wow, that's light and crisp. It's real good. So I'm finally sitting down. I don't know if I'm burger drunk or not. I'm definitely tired though. Um, I'm gonna have to look back at these clips to figure out where I'm at. But I think I'm at like 12 or 13. And we have the Pinky Burger from the picky, or 
pinky picky. I don't know. I'm so out of it right now. But it has English cheese. Uh, it's on a hollow bun. It's their all beef burger. There's a tomato. I totally forgot what else the guy said was on it, but we're gonna try it. And then I like the sesame seed. That's 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 a little different from everything else I've had so far. So here goes nothing. Wow. That's really good. I'm really full. I'm gonna finish it though, because you know, on my channel, I finish all my burgers. See you guys on the next one. Alright guys, I am I am on like burger 14 or 15, I don't know. I give up on trying to figure this out. This is a burger from the Venice Whaler, which is located right on Venice Beach. It's on like Washington, right there at the pier. Um, they follow me on Instagram, so shout out to them. Click the annotation right there to go follow them on Instagram as well. Like they show me a lot of support, so that's why they get that plug. Um, I managed to find like a crew. Hey. And my friend Sandra, I met her a couple days ago at a Taste Made event and we um, we went to see Mission Impossible. You can click the link right here to go to her Taste Made channel and she eats a lot of different stuff and you know, she has a social media presence. So, what are you eating right now? I am having the Animal Burger. We waited in line for it. It is really good. That is the Boner Burger, which really I nice. did a whole video on a couple oh months ago. So Another annotation. This is the annotation video. Anyway, so that's it guys. I'm gonna try this burger and see how it is. Can you grab that? <laughs> Do it. You like that technique, huh? Like I had to hold the burger and take the stick out. So that's it. There's a lot of bread. I gotta go to the Venezuela to try this. There's a lot of bread, I can't really taste it, so. All right, so this is Cassell's. Look, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but there's seasoning right on that burger. So let's try this right now. I am, I'm gonna do a video on Cassell's. Like, I've been meaning to do that for a couple of weeks. It's I'm so finally good. gonna do it. Yeah. Oh my God, holy crap. So wow. So that is intense flavor. Great beef. And I know they ground their meat in-house too, so let's keep on pushing. What's up guys? Um, I'm done. I don't know how many burgers I've eaten. You guys probably do because you just watched them all. But whatever. LA Weekly has put on a very uh, successful food festival. I I can't say that I've enjoyed another festival more, but I guess it had a bunch of hamburgers. I did like Taco Landia a lot, and I love uh, bacon and barrels. So I mean, whatever. But the venue was great. It's real spaced out, so it's not like you're getting bunched up together and stuck in line and stuff like that. So I can appreciate it. Um, if you guys like this video, please click the like button down below. Um, click the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel, share the video with your friends, and there will certainly be more videos from more food festivals and more burger places all over LA. And a lot of these places that are here are places that I've shot videos or that I, I plan to shoot videos at inside the restaurant. So it's cool, dude. Like, I, I really enjoyed myself. I'm stuffed to the gills. There's a lot of burgers that I wanted to try that I didn't get to try, but I'm just, I'm too full, so it happens. Um, that's it on the Burger Crawl with Q the Critic. I'll catch you guys on the next one.